ABC to be. ABC. Do you even know ABC to be what yet? Then finish the sentence. ABC. Hey guys, are you a couple? No. No way. You look kinda the same. He copied me. Oh really? I don't even know you? Anyway, I'll add my boyfriend here. Who is, Who so, is unlucky? so unlucky? Go ahead, K. Okay. okay, I'll be right back. Girl, I need you. Whose body is it now? No, Ugg, I like this dude. I need to make him jealous, because he doesn't seem to care about me. So, can you be my fake boyfriend? That's a stupid idea. Make it sound smart. I'll give you my core blocks. Deal. Okay, I'm going to change my avatar. Handsome yet? Your voice too. Now. Yes, perfect. Now let's go to the GC. Back to the GC. Hey guys. Hey there. Hi. Name. Guys, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Mara. I'm 16 and this is me. She's cute. She's cute. Dang, Dang it, she's, she's taken. taken. My queen. Okay, now my turn. I'm Rylan. I'm 15 and this is me. Handsome. Cool. Me. Me next. I'm Jared, 17 and this is me. Dude, you are so cool. Cute. Dang hot boy. Okay, now me. Um, Jason, 16. My babe. Pretty. Nice. Wait, what's wrong? I found that pic on Pinterest. Oh, you did? Show us your real face or I'll kick you. Okay, but... No, 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 he is. That boy, he's famous. Are you kidding? The boy's name is not even Jason. Oh, who are we fooling, Mara? I can't act like a boy all the time. My name is Winnie, 16 years old. And this is me. What? That's a girl. Why are you faking your gender? Mara wants to make some boy here jealous. Who? Rylan. Haha, <laughs> you like me for sure. Yeah, you are really cute. Winnie? Chill, chill, girls. I'm single. Yeah, what makes you hurry? By the way, you are really cute. Yeah. Winnie, can we talk in private chat for a sec? Yes. What are you doing? What? Are you flirting with both of them? What I was just talking? I think Mara is pretty cute. Winnie is hot too. But the personality, not my type. Well, I like Winnie. Mara is just too much and... Anyway. Oh, Winnie is back. Rylan, I think I really like you. Wanna go out sometimes? Oh, yes. I like you too. What happened? I don't know. Ugh. I can't believe that. I have to break them up. I have an idea. Jared. Yes. Do you think I'm cute? Oh my god, yes. Do you want to date me? That's as little too soon, but sure. Nice. Where did she go? I don't know. Guys, we are dating. Congrats. Rylan left the chat. Is he, Is mad? he mad? He might he plan, plan works. works. Hey, why did you left? Because I don't want you to date him. I like you too. I know it. To be honest, I like Jared, but he doesn't seem to care. Let's tell them the truth. Let's go. Let me finish my sentence. Mara, I think this should end. I don't like Rylan. And obvious he likes you too. I'm sorry for being so childish. So am I. I should have been honest with my feelings. What about me? Guys, let's do an open relationship. I can date two girls. Back off. off. Rylan kicked Jared from the group chat. Hey, why did you kick him? Because he is so sick, Ugg. True. I'm so sorry, Winnie. I know you like him. It's okay. The feelings are not that deep, though. You're a good girl and you'll find a good guy. Haha, <laughs> yes I will. Thank you, guys. No problem. Mom, Dad, I have to leave our town now. I finished high school now. Honey, we are very proud of you. Going to the city for the university is gonna be very hard. I hope I can help you out with more money. Don't worry, Dad, Mom, I'll go get a job and rent a house. We will help you with anything we got. That's enough for me. Thank you, I love you so much. I love you, honey, please keep your health. Love you too, goodbye, Mom and Dad. Bye, sweetie. Finally, I can go to university. I have to make my parents proud, but first, I have to go find a job and rent a house. This is gonna be so hard, but I can do it. Six hours later! Oh yeah, finally. Oh my god, the city looks so beautiful. I can't wait for learning and work here. Now let's go to the address I have found for renting a house. Anyone home? Who is that? Oh my, oh god, my god, so, so handsome. handsome. Hey, are you okay? Uh, I, I'm finding a house for rent. Yes, you have come to the right place. Come in. I will take you to see my dad. Dad, we have a guest. Who's that? She wants to rent a room, Dad. Great, have a sit. Hello, sir. I'm Anna. I'm going to find a room for rent so I can study here in the city. Oh, I see you come from another place. All right, I have one room left. That's great. All right, get your stuff and welcome to our house. Thank you, sir. I think I should go to see my new school. It will be very big and awesome coming. Coming.
Oh, that's you, what's wrong? I didn't ask what is your name. So what's your name? I want to get acquainted. Oh yes, my name is Anna and you. I'm Colin, nice to meet you. Me too, you are so cool. Oh really, thank you. I think I have to go now. My dad is calling me. Okay, see you later. See ya. All right, let's go see my new school and find a job. Today is gonna be a long day. Oh my God, this school is so big, I'm so excited. Can't wait for school. Now I'll go find a job. Hello, sir, I'm looking for a job. Well, you're from another place, right? I haven't seen you here before. Yes, sir. I'm new here, but I can do a lot of things and I'll do it hard. Okay, young girl, we need a restaurant service staff. I'll let you try, hope you won't give up. I won't, sir. Thank you for this job, I'll do it well. Five months later in the house! You'd better pay me two months ago. This house is not free, Anna. Please, I just need one more month. Then I'll pay you all. My mom at home is sick. I have to send money home for her, please help me. I don't know where to go now. Ugh, fine. Just one month, don't be late anymore. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. At the middle night in Anna's room. Colin, I don't have any money to pay for renting this room anymore. I am afraid that your father will kick me out. Don't worry, honey. I can go talk to my father. I just has loved you for a few months. I know you are a good person and I love you because of that. Thank you. I have to help my mom now. Thank you for talking with your dad. Yeah, hope he doesn't find out that we are in love. He will kick me out right after he knows it. Thank you for everything. I'm sure. Anything I can for you, my love. You want to hang out with me tonight? Where will we go? I don't know. Maybe go to the movie or we can go eat something. Sound great. I think we can go find something to eat. You are so handsome, honey. As always. Stop. You make me shy. Haha, <laughs> alright, let's go. How do you feel about it? Delicious. Yeah, it's yummy. Hey, let's go for a walk after eating. Sure, if you like. I remember the first day we met each other's. You look so cute, haha. -ha. You didn't know that I loved you since the first time we met. You are the most handsome guy I have met in this world. Thank you. Hey, what are you guy doing here? Dad, why are you here? I must be the one who has to ask that question. Sir, I, we, you, you get back home, take all your stuff and leave. Dad, please don't do that. I love her. No, son, look at her. No future doesn't have anything. She does not deserve you. Please, sir, I don't know where to go now. That's not my business. You didn't pay me two months rent and now you used my son to help you. No, I love him for real. Stop talking, get out of my house and stay away from my daughter. Look at yourself if you love my son you should become a high value girl. Dad, don't do this please. Take all your stuff and leave. I said this last time. Dad. All right, I'm sorry for everything. I will go now. No, Anna. At the street. I don't know where to go now. I think I can't even go to school. I don't have any money left. Everything is so bad. What should I do now? Suddenly, a strange noise hit my car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Are you okay? Hey, hey. Oh no. I have to take him to the hospital. Don't worry, you will be fine. One hour later. Doctor, is he okay? Thank god if you don't, you took him to me soon. He would be gone. Oh my god. That's good. I have called his mom on his phone. I think she will come here soon. Now I think I have to go. Wait, how is my son now? Don't worry, we gave first aid in time. Young girl here saved your son. Oh really? Thank you so much. We owe you. Everyone would do that too. Your son is okay now. What's your name? Where do you live? I'm Anna. I don't know where to go now. My home is very far from here. So why are you here? I went to the city for learning and work, but my mom is sick at home. And I have to send my money back home so I don't have any money and I don't have any place to stay. I want to meet you tomorrow. Why? Just come meet me at the LMFAO coffee. I have something for you. Now I have to go see how my son. All right. Anyway, thank you for saving my son. Hum, okay. See you tomorrow. The next day at the LMFAO coffee. So what major do you study? I study business administration. That's good. I want to tell you something. If you don't mind, I want to adopt you. What? What are you talking about? You hear it. But, but, we just meet each other yesterday. You saved my son yesterday too. I'm the president of Roblox and you can be my son's manager. But I don't think that I can do it. I'll teach you everything you. I don't even know where to go. Let me help you. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. Good, so we should come back home now. Right now or what? Are you gonna go to the park and sleep on the chair? All right. Come on, let's come back home, honey. All right, come in, this is our house. Oh God, it's so big. Am I dreaming? Haha, <laughs> no, you are not. I really can stay here? Of course, honey, this will be your home. Thank you so much, I, I don't know what to say. You save my son, I'll save your life, honey. Thank you, ma'am. Call me mom, haha. -ha. All right, mom. Good, let's meet my son. He is in the living room. I have to work. 
Hello, oh. Hello. Oh god, he is very gorgeous. I didn't, I didn't see, see that, that when I when saved, I saved him. him. Nice to meet you, I'm Anna. Oh, you are the one who saved me. Thank you so much. Don't have to. I'm glad you are okay. By the way, my name is Dallas. That name suits you. You look chill. You are so funny. Don't make me shy. I'll help my mom to teach you about what we are doing here. I think you will be the good director. I hope so too. Thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> you are welcome. Five years later, in the wedding of Anna and Dallas. I've been waiting for this for so long. Me to you are a gift of my life. Thank you for everything. You are my husband now. Tonight, I'll teach you some new lessons. Hey, watch your mouth. Haha, <laughs> I love you, Dallas. Love you too. Look at you. You are a woman now, Anna. I am where I am today. Thanks to you. Haha, <laughs> sound like a woman. I'm very proud of you, daughter. My parents at home want to thank you for helping hospital cure my mother. My mother is better now. Thank you so much. Don't thank me. That's what you deserve, honey. Yes, you deserve to have me too. Haha, <laughs> I'm so happy. Be ready. My company will be your and my son soon. What? Yes, my mom wants to retire. He will go travel around the world. Yes, and I hope you guys will take care of it. Well, oh my god, I don't think that I'm ready. You and my son will help each other. You will be okay. Yes, honey, or I must say my new president. Thank you guys so much for believing in me. I'll do my best one. Years later, Anna is driving. Suddenly, she saw the person who rented the house to him in the past. Hello, why are you laying down here? Who is that? Don't you remember me? I'm Anna, the one who you kick out of your house. Oh, I remember you now. Aha, uh -huh. I don't have any house no more. What? What happened? I have been a gambler for many years. I have lost a lot of money. What? So where is Colin? Oh, my son, he has to work for them to pay my debt. Take me there. What for? I'll help you. No, you don't need to. I kicked you out of my house. This is not for you. I'll help you because of your son. Now take me to where he is. They go to meet Colin. Colin. Ha. Huh. Oh my god. Anna, is that you? Let's get out of here. You don't need to work here anymore. Where do you think you are going? How much money does he owe you? What? You will pay for him? Yes, just tell me. Haha, <laughs> 10 million Robux. Can you take it, young girl? Easy. Now I'm the president of Roblox. Here is my card. There are 10 million Robux in it. Oh god. You and Colin can go now. Haha. <laughs> Why do you help us? I can't see you like this, Colin. I have a house near your old house, you, and your father can live there. Really? I, I. I just tried to help. It's nothing to me, don't worry. I miss you. Thank you so much. I miss you too, but I'm married now. Really? Congratulations. Wow, you are adult now. Yes, sir. I don't mind anything in past. Now you can live in that house. I don't use it. And please don't let your son have to take what you cause, okay? Thank you so much. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. It's all right. Let's take your son home. Thank you, Anna. We'll you everything. Don't worry. I will do what I can do. Hurry. I have to come back to home to see my son and my husband too. I guess this is goodbye, Anna. Yay. Goodbye, Colin. Help everyone you can love and be loved. You will get what you deserve. The end. Hey, Harley. What the hell do you want now? Did I talk to you about your ugly avatar? It's hella ugly and girls will hit on anyone but you. Just because of that avatar only. Aha, uh -huh. wanna join my GC? Absolutely. Pax adds Harley to the GC. I mean poor people wouldn't be exist if we... Save turtles. No, Anya, we can't blame it on the turtles. Hey, guys. Hey, Pax, wait, who is she? You would know if you let him finish. Okay, she has delivered the attitude already. At least start with a... Hi, my name is... How are you? I mean, that's what my parents taught me. How about yours? Mine told me to smack the shit out of anyone that mentions them. And you better shut up, girl. I wouldn't put myself down low to your level anyway. Stupid softy bitch. Can we just stop? You can't just start a fight wherever you go like that, Harley. Now you are on that softy bitch's side? She started this first. She was trying to teach me how to live. Uh, what do I expect in you? You are just a loser who can't get yourself a girlfriend. Boys in class think you gay, and you can't blame them about that. Harley, right, let's be honest. You're sitting on your desk with a screen in front. You think you are safe. No, you are not. No, what's IP? That's a thing that can help me to track down your location. And I would love to see this attitude of yours in real life. Cause I'm a lazy typer, so why do we meet up? Don't mind sending me the address because all you have to do is say yes. Guess she sees the problem. Now I think we should rewind the time. Let's introduce. You wanna tell me what to do? Shut, Shut up. up. Damn okay. Anyways, I'm Pax and I'm 16.
I'm Paris and I'm 16. I'm Anya and I'm 16. Yes, it's my turn now. I'm Harley and I'm 15. Anyway, Paris was telling a story. Oh yeah, my stupid ex-boyfriend. He said he was too poor to date me. Can you believe that? I can guarantee you that he loves using my money. I hacked into his account yesterday. And guess what? He was cheating on me. He has been giving that poor bitch the money I gave him. Ago, that's a no, no, no. What you're gonna do about it? He wants to marry that bitch. I can tell that she's a gold digger too. He hasn't told her that he has broken up with me yet. I bet she would dump him when she knows. Wait, I didn't, I didn't know, know who no, Paris, Paris had dated. dated. She, never she never told, told me, she, me she, had she had a boyfriend. boyfriend. Is, she, Is hiding she hiding something, something from me or? or? I'm Paris? Yeah, girl. What's his name? Oh, why is oh, why he, he asking, asking that? that? Does it matter? Yes, of course. This, this is, is gonna, gonna be, be interesting. interesting. Fine, it's cash. Cash? Well, yes. Paris, OMG, this is crazy. How long have you been dating? Wait, 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 wait. What? Who is Cash? Cash? I thought that's Pax's boyfriend. Nani? What? Cash is gay? So Paris, how long have you been dating? Half a year. We were still together in that time. I didn't know Pax and I'm so, so sorry. This asshole. I thought he said he's pure gay. You were all fooled, my friends. This is funny. I have known this already. Dang it. There is another girl if you don't remember. I still can believe I've got into this situation. Pax, listen to me. I met him in Brookhaven. I didn't know that he was in a relationship with you or with anyone. I fell in love with him for real. That's the truth. I have just found out that the was having another girl besides me. Now I realize how bad it was to even date him in the first place. I am so sorry, Pax. I hope that you're not mad at me. In the matter of fact, I didn't know your boyfriend name's Cash. It's okay, Paris. I'm not mad at you. We should do something about this. IDK, you tell me. Well, that's pathetic, okay. And Anya said she knows about this already. Yeah, what do you mean, Anya? Well, I don't care about any of you anyway. Anyway, I was being friends with Paris because I knew she was scared to lose me. And I wanted her to tell me all the tea so goodbye, guys. Anya has left the chat. We were like puppets to her. For real. Okay. We should probably get revenge on Anya for being a complete monster. Guys, I just got an idea. What? What? We need to get revenge on Anya for being a total monster to everyone. Um, I was pretty much a monster too. Yeah, but I forgave you. Anya kept on being a monster and didn't regret things. Well, guys, are you in? Definitely. Yes. Okay, okay. So here's the plan. We will dress up a guys and have a GC with Anya. And we will make her fall in love with me. And then when she will fully trust me, Paris can hack her and I can break her heart he. But I will take all of her Robux. No, no, we can split. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Yes. Wait, do you guys have her on your friend list? No, she unfriended me. Oh my god, I still have her. Okay, great. So now I will change my voice and we'll change our avatars. Be right back. One second. Okay, I'm back. Hey, yo. Okay, great. Now let's try our voice changer. Ooga booga. Slade. Nice guys. Okay, before you join Anya, we should give ourselves fake names. I'll be Zen. I will be Tom. I am Derek. Okay, guys, she's playing Ragdoll right now. I'm gonna join her and ask her to be friends. Good luck. Good luck. Pax joins Ragdoll. U U I U U W U. Hey there. Oh, hi. Wanna be friends? You seem pretty cool. Of course, so oh my god. Why is Why she is so, so excited, excited Mayo? Mayo? Nice, can I add you to my GC? I'm sure. All right, one second. In the GC. Hey, guys, I brought a new friend. Hey. Oh, hi. Hello, boys. LMAO, LMAO it's, actually it's actually working. working. I think we should all introduce ourselves. I'll start since I knew I'm Anya and I'm 16. I'm Tom and I'm 16. I'm Derek and I'm 18. I'm Zen and I'm 18. I really like the name Derek. Oh, thank you. Anya is also cute. I kind of like Derek. I think, I think she's, she's starting, starting to fall. To fall. Email love birds. Shut up, Tom. Just kidding, just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, guys, wanna play something? Let's play Ball Blade. Oh, I love that game. Nice, guys. Anyways, join me. They play for 329 minutes. Man, that was so fun to play with you guys. And Derek is such a good player. Oh, thank you so much, Anya. Well, guys, it's get on a bit late. Yes, we should all get some sleep. Yes, I think go to sleep now. 
Good night, guys. It was fun meeting you all. LMAO, guys. I can't stop laughing, oh my god. She's actually falling for it. Wait, Derek. Can I private chat you before I go to sleep? Yes, of course. Oh my god, I got scared for a moment. Same law. Derek, I wanted to tell you that I really like you. And I'm asking you to be my boyfriend. I hope you feel the same way. Oh my god, Anya. Oh god, I shouldn't have said that. I ruined everything. No, you did not. I do feel the same way. I'd love go out with you. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Not, not for, for long, long LMAO. LMAO. Anyways, good night, my love. Good night, baby. Good, Good morning. morning, everyone. Guys, wanna play TDD? Sure. Yeah. I don't mind. Anya's birthday. Guys, you know what day it is? It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Anya. You are a really good friend, and I'm so happy we got to meet you. Happy birthday, Anya. I love you so much. You're a really kind person, and I hope you have the best life. Thank you, guys, so 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 much. Save the best for last, as I see. Happy birthday, babe. I'm so happy met someone like you. You are the love of my life and I don't know what I would do without you. Your soul is pure as your eyes. And I hope we have a long time together. Oh my god, baby, I'm literally in tears right now. I love you so much and I knew you were the one for me. How about I'll buy you some Robux, babe, for your birthday? Oh, it's okay, babe, you know I already have 12 billion Robux. Yeah, but I want to buy you some more, babe. That's the only present I can give you for now. Well, if you really want to hear, I send you my password. Okay, babe, I'm logging in. Okay, guys, I'm in LMAO. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, first I'm changing her email and password. Okay, guys, I'm giving each of us 4 billion. Now I can finally get rid of this voice changer for God's sake. Guys, what oh the Oh my fuck? god, right. Finally, LMAO. Wait. Harley? Oh, hell nah. I mean, he would cheat on you someday, Molly. Stop, I don't want to think about that. Oh, but it's the truth, though. What are you two talking about? I can't catch up. Well, we're talking about Molly's boyfriend, Caleb. What's with him? I was just saying that he's really hot. I mean, too hot for Molly. And you know what would happen if you date someone who is out of your league. You'd get heartbroken? Yeah. They'll get sick of you and dump you. I mean, we'll have to improve ourselves day by day, right? We're not gonna stay lower than them forever. Girl, please know yourself. I think you are being negative, Riley. Anyway, let's meet and talk to him. What do you think, Molly? Yeah, he was just asking why I haven't introduced him to my besties. I'll let him in now. Molly has added Caleb to the GC. Hi, babe. Hi, everyone. Hi, Caleb. Hi. So these are my besties, Riley and Alora. And I have told you his name already. He's Caleb. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. Same. Um, should we do a face reveal? Yeah, sure. We're now friends anyway. Okay. I guess I'll go first since I am new. Okay, this is me. Wow, Molly, mark my words. Mark my words. Um, what was that about? Nothing, she's just joking. And I think you look cool, Caleb. What a match to our Molly. Ah, uh -huh, indeed. Thanks, I guess. And I think now is my turn. This is me. Nice. Slay bestie. Cool. And this is me. Wow, Laura. Okay, okay. Cool. It's your turn now, Molly. Um, I don't feel my confidence. Well. Come on, baby. Are you shy? Yeah. Huh? Are all the beautiful girls just so shy? I mean, I can't believe you agreed to be my girlfriend. Come on, don't be shy. What? what? He, asked he asked Molly? Well, okay. This is me. I told you my girl is just amazing. Thanks, babe. All your love is just beautiful. I am jealous. Ha <laughs> ha. I wish my future boyfriend would just be as supportive as that. You'll get it. Manifest the universe energy. Ugh, you are so childish and boring. Gotta go. Well, she's a little cold, huh? Usually she's not like that, babe. She's maybe having a bad mood. Or a bad personality. Anyway, wanna play something? Sure. Join me, guys. They played Bloxford for 3,146 minutes. Where have you been for so long? Oh, we were playing Bloxfruit. For that long? Um, gee. We didn't know you're online, though. Anyway, can I private chat you real quick, Caleb? Okay, I guess. We'll be right back. 
Ah, uh, what is it now? You can't let her being toxic to you all the time. I don't know. Maybe that's just her personality. We can't do anything about it. We can tell her to fack off when she wants to fack with our heads. I have known her for a long time since diaper, you know. It's something I am used to anyway. You have to build up a border girl. The way she talks about you and your boyfriend is a big no-no for me. No matter how close you are, you can't let people treat you like that. Meanwhile with Riley and Caleb. You're being real. Of course, we were talking about you before you joined the GC. You don't understand how hard is it for a girl to date someone like you. I think I am just a regular guy. But she is. I mean she thinks she is below that regular standard. She's thinking about breaking up with you for a while now. So you think I should lift her up? I heard there was an experience when you support a girl long enough. She'll be more confident and be a better version of herself. I'm not saying that I don't like her now but I would be happy if she- No 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 that's bullshit. All you have to do is breaking up with her. It's easier for her than pushing her too much. I, I, I think I need some times. Okay, just mark my words, she's suffering. Back to the GC. Okay, something came up guys, I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye babe. Bye bye. What were you talking about? No need to ask, I was about to show you this. What? He said I was not enough for him. Why did he even tell you that? I know boys like him. So, I wanted to talk to him, put him on a test. And see, he has shown himself. You have to talk to him first, Molly. About what? This picture has told you everything you need to know. What if it's fake? You think I would lie to my best friend? Maybe you would, Alora, but I would never. Don't use that clumsy manipulation technique of yours on me, you prick. This is your relationship, Molly. Don't believe anyone unless you see it yourself. I think I need some times alone. I know what you are trying to do, Riley. I don't know what you're talking about. You know very well. And I know you always underestimate Molly. You don't think she deserve him, do you? You're being ridiculous. Because I'm calling out your ridiculous thoughts, Riley. Ah, uh, don't be such an overthinker. I just don't want my bestie to be miserable because she's dating someone that she can't handle. That's not something you can judge, Riley. Caleb likes Molly for her personality, while yours is ugly like a frog. I think that's enough talking for today. Bye and have a good life. I need to do something about this. Uh, both Caleb and Molly are not online. Few days later. Molly, 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 Molly. Um, I am here, Riley. What's wrong? You have been online for days. Oh, I am now, ha. Huh? How are you and Caleb? Well, I haven't talked to him, and he doesn't seem to care anyway. I guess, I guess they're, they're ready, ready to, break to break up. up. Okay, then. Hey, oh, I thought Riley was here. Yeah, she just asked me about me, and Caleb then left. This suspicious, this suspicious batch. batch. So I think me and him should stop. Why would you think that? I think that'll happen sooner or later. Why don't end this now? But have you talked to him? No, and he doesn't even try to text me when I'm keeping silence anyway. Why the hell do you expect someone to talk to you when you don't want or don't dare to talk to them? You are being unreasonable girl, and you let Riley's words get into your head. Well, I think you're right too. Thank you. I would talk to him. Meanwhile. Hello Caleb, how are you doing? Oh hey Riley. I heard that you and Molly haven't talked for days. Oh I was just. Look Caleb, I understand you. You do? Of course, it's tired to have a girlfriend like that. And you would need someone who has more energy like. Well, you are not so right, Riley. I am not tired of her. I'm having her a surprise. Wait, I. Yeah, let's talk about how you feel first and let's see what he thinks. What if he thinks I am stupid and wants to? Babe. Caleb. Wow hasn't talked for a few days and you're calling me by name now. I am. Um, I was just. Come on, join me, guys. Everyone joins Caleb in Bloxburg. Wow, what is this? I've spent few days building this house. Well, I am not very good at it. That's why it took me so long. It's for you, babe. For me? I know it's not perfect or pretty. What? Are you crazy? This is perfect. I love it because you have made it for me. You see? What? I have flaws too. And in my eyes, the flaws are just ugly and outstanding. But I can feel that the love you have for me makes you think that it's perfect. Just like you, Molly. 
You are perfect for me, and no matter what you think about yourself, I want you to know that you are the best I have. Babe, you know what I think. Of course, Riley has told me. What? Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you two have made up. Let's play something. They weren't fighting Riley. I mean, wait, what did Riley told you? She told me that you feel stressful and miserable for dating me because you think I am out of your league. I don't understand why because I think that I am just a normal person. In the matter of fact, I think you are too beautiful for me. That's it, guys. Stop just talking to each other. What? I don't mind. Let me guess, Caleb. Riley thinks you and Molly should break up. Yeah, she said that, but I don't want to give up on Molly. Here's the thing. I do feel like I am not perfect, but to say that I was miserable was too much. And Riley was the one who told me. Stop. Let her talk. She told me that you said I wasn't enough for you. What? Riley, why the hell did you tell her that? I? I was just... She even sent us a screenshot FYI. That's fake, period. I'll take a screenshot of what we actually talked about. Here it is. Too late, Riley. I have taken it already. There's no point deleting all the messages now. Say something, Riley. Because I'm right, okay? You don't deserve him. That's the truth. Look at him. He is so hot and he looks so sporty. You're just a nerd who can't even put on a freaking eyeliner. He needs a girl that is fun, who has more energy like... Like you. Girl, this is crazy energy only. Hey, this sounds familiar. We were trying to tell me this earlier, right? OMG, you like Caleb. I know. I was. I mean, I... You want my boyfriend? And I believe he would want me too. The audacity of you betch makes me want to smack the hell out of you. Now, Molly, you have anything to tell me? Alora, I should have listened to you. Ugh, I can't imagine that I have a friend like that. Oh no, I am so sorry, babe. You must feel really bad to lose a friend. That's okay, babe. Thank you for staying. Of course I have to stay with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, Alora, are you single? Yeah, and why you ask? I want to introduce my bestie to you. A pick, at least. Here he is. We're gonna be good friends, Caleb. Lol.